Hi, betting experts. On Tuesday the 14th of December, we're off to deeper Somerset on Tuesday to win Canton, a competitive card. The ground just on the softer side of good. Uh, as usual, it's a microclimate down there. They tend to get really pretty fast conditions, whatever the time of year, unless they get a deluge on the day of racing. It dries out incredibly quickly. Quite competitive racing, good prize money. We start off with our value angle selection at one o'clock. This is the banker winner with Mansion Bet, Novice's limited handicap chase, two mile, four furlong, 35 yards, class three for four-year-olds and upwards £8,169 and off to the winner. Good prize money, they'll probably be a bit disappointed. It's only attracted six runners. I think this is a good opportunity for Athol Street of Paul Nichols to get off the mark over fences at the third time of asking. Now, he was a dual winning hurdler last season, but things haven't really gone to plan this time around. Although he's finished second on a couple of occasions, they come in small fields. He hasn't always impressed with his jumping and he's raced rather freely. There was nothing wrong particularly with his second behind Paddy's motorbike at Fakenham first time out. He was kept wide there. The winner made all the running. He's quite a tool for the grade. I thought Athol Street actually shaped quite nicely. Finishing second over two miles, which was probably an inadequate trip these days for him. And it was a similar st- story over two mile two at Kempton behind Rockstar Ronnie. Um, booked for a distant third, really, when Sebastopol f- fell at the last. I thought he was just short of pace round there, really. Two mile four should suit ideally. There'll be more to come. It Decent ground's what he needs. Harry Cobden's on again. I'm thinking this is a really good opportunity. A mark of 129. He's actually been dropped six pounds since he started off over fences. He should be capable of winning off that kind of mark. And encouragingly, his two wins over hurdles both came at Taunton, which is sharp right-handed on decent grounds. I think this is his optimum conditions and a great chance to get off the mark at the third time of asking. For our nap of the day, we go to the two o'clock. This is the Mansion Bet Proud to support British Racing Novice Hurdle. Two mile four, class four, four-year-olds and upwards for just over £4,000 on offer. A huge field, but... To be truthful, only a handful of them have got any chance. I doubt too many of them wanting to show their hand with handicaps in mind down the line, but I'm hoping that Exmoor Express, third run over hurdles, always risks attached with that. But I think he's shaped really well in two strong races at Chepstow and Lingfield. And now stepping up three furlongs, or four furlongs in fact, in trip will definitely suit him. He really caught the eye last time at Lingfield in a strong race won by Sherbourne on good to soft ground, dropped out, out the back at 25 to 1. Never really landing a blow, but finishing with running left into sixth. It was a straight into the notebook job, and this step up in trip would definitely suit him. Alan Johns has been booked. He was a winner of his bumper last season at Chepstow. That was on good ground, so I think he's a horse. He's a good mover who needs this kind of ground, and the increased test of stamina can see him get off the mark at the third time of asking over hurdles. Best of luck on Tuesday, betting experts.